but when I, when this situation, I mean, chickens and and you got officers like really. Yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you said I, the I was a police officer for six years up in Oregon before okay. I went to law school. So, the the just to give you the information, this isn't this isn't a discussion saying that this is what we're going to do. But I mean, you're a police officer. I want to know. I, I want to know how you how so, how you guys can legally get access on my land if I post at that gate and say nope. I have right to bear firearms. I have right to protect my property. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right. What so, would happen? So we have we have two different ways that we can do it. One, we can do an, an inspection and abatement and abatement warrant that would probably cover a larger area. It wouldn't just be individual house. This is a unique thing to food and agriculture and disease prevention. We can also, we also have the authority, the special investigators for CDFA also have the authority to write a specific search warrant, a traditional search warrant for a house to uh, affect or to affect disease eradication. Now, so who, okay, that type of warrant though, because mm-hmm. you're talking like a judge or magistrate, 24 yeah. 7 phone both, judge. Both are judge and magistrate. I, I, I message over what I want done, they sign it off. Correct. But now, being again, we have nothing. Are you saying under your US code that would give the judge legal authority to sign this off? Yes. And, and go against my search and seizure Fourth Amendment rights for my, yep. my so property. The, so the search warrant, the, the search warrant is an exception to your Fourth Amendment rights. So if you get a search warrant, the the Fourth Amendment pr- protects you from unlawful search and seizure um, unless supported by probable cause. Okay. So we'd be the, the warrant for those scenarios would be supported by probable cause and signed off by a judge. Okay. So then that warrant would authorize us to go in and remove poultry and depopulate and uh, carry out the needs of the regional quarantine or quarantine, individual okay. quarantine. Now backing up on that, because yeah. we also have something called, and I don't know if you've ever heard Frank's hearing, motion to traverse. I'm sure you've heard of that. Are you saying to challenge the- Yes, challenge the, what you've written on your affidavit that is actual, true and correct. Based off of my personal situation, being it's been five months since I was approached and nobody's, uh, nobody's sick or dead and nobody's left. I mean, you know, nobody's come in, nobody's come out. There is, and I and I like I said, and I am offering to hand you guys a few few chickens for the greater good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm I willing don't wanna, to comply to you. I, I want to make sure that we're parsing out. I, and I was just providing information. No, I'm I mean, not I saying understand that, how that, that works what, with the affidavit, but I also understand on a non-criminal matter, you have a right to motion to traverse. Now, so once again, the, this gets the, locked up. You're in the big food, in the guys food. with money, and I'm just the little citizen living here. I mean, in, in the food and ag code, it's actually a misdemeanor. We can do administrative penalties, but it's also a misdemeanor. So that's how the criminal element would come in. I, and I'm not saying that we're necessarily, we don't no, use no, that No, no, and aspect. going into the misdemeanor so. type, because you would have to place that person under arrest, mm-hmm. you'd have to write your PC deck on it, mm-hmm. and then your detectives will go file it with the DA's office, Correct. if it would even be filed. And I'm working in the law enforcement, you know how often one little whoopsie and somebody just oh, yeah. goes and away. Yeah, you know, those those scenarios where, where the special investigators do have to go that route, they usually partner with the Rural Crimes Task Force for San Bernardino Riverside County um, to work with those teams when they have to go there. But route. I mean, again, and we're talking, uh, like you said, you said it right there, crime. It, this isn't, I'm not a criminal. And Well, in, in the Food and Ag Code, it is, it is a crime, um, a misdemeanor to uh, hinder an epidemiological investigation. Well, you know, I'm gonna so, look up the codes that, that you sent yeah, me I, back. I, I would, because I, mean, I just wanna know about it. Yeah, yeah, And like I said, I, I, I think it's more than reasonable to let you have a few. I don't see why they can't swing by and grab them. I mean, they wanted to kill everybody back in December. So, hey, if I'm giving you a few, you got what you wanted. You got I'm gonna check to see if that's okay with uh, the vets up in uh, our office. Yeah, do it. Because I mean, if they I say yes, then we're I'll done. give you a call. Okay. And if they say no, I'll inform you on what the direction is. What they want to do. Okay. Um, Fair enough. So either way, I'll, I'll give you a call and let you know. Um, I'm not the, the expert. I'm no, but I mean, I think, guy being I think it's here. more than reasonable to do yeah. that. They wanted to populate anyway. I will even withdraw um, any kind of payment for that because I'm consensually offering them to you and giving to you. So I'll waive my indemnity money for those birds. Um, I think that's more than more than fair. I've got three roosters. I, I think there might be two that are, I don't know. I haven't seen an egg and I haven't heard crow, so I'm a little suspicious of what's going on there. So, I, I'll, hey, I can handle that part for you, and that way you got your samples, and we're good. So, and I don't see why that would be... And hopefully Andrew provided a lot of answers. He has a lot more answers than I do. Yeah. And well, the attorney of it does help, because that's what I, I wanted to know. Back in 03, which I did pull those court records, were you involved with that in 03 when the attorney got involved when this last outbreak happened? No, I was... 02, 03? It was uh, 2003. I was still an undergrad. 
Okay, so you're a baby. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, there was an attorney that fought back with all these people. Mm -hmm. What's what I find very strange about because I pulled all the you know those are public records. Yeah. Pulled it all and looked at it all. I can't find a dispo. There is no dispo in the court system. For the it's, lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I so what speak happened to with that? I was like, I don't know. to me, that means either it was just all dropped, or I mean, it couldn't possibly still be in lingo. I don't know. After statute limit, did they just close it? <laughs> I mean, the wheels of justice do not move swiftly. As <laughs> yeah, I'm sure well, you know. So. Exactly. I mean, I mean, it's I mean, it's but I did find that case interesting because as I reviewed those documents, and I'm like, this is the same thing they're doing here. That same bullying tactic of threatening this, threatening that. Yeah, and those under, people. I just got want to make sure you understand that that our discussion here was just because you were curious. I just I wanted to provide the information. No, I mean, I, it doesn't mean you're not, arresting I'm not saying, me or anything. I'm not saying that that's where we're going to come back and, and do this. Really is this is a discussion. And it would look really bad on the media to be like, oh, 50 year old mommy of four with chickens is hauled off to Paris County and her husband's to be at work. Now he's to pick her up in a unit and no, no, they I, need that's sitters a, for the kids. We're just having a discussion. I'm not. Are they? Huh? Unit. Yes. <laughs> oh, he had to send somebody to get me. He's got to be at work. So he's going to pick me up. Or you can get, you know, my, my dad, highway patrol, we can always grab. It, it's, I mean, like I said, it, it's really unnecessary and I am willing to comply by giving you those. And I think that's more than reasonable. I, I don't, you know, I don't worry about you guys being in my backyard. I don't think you're going to steal anything. I don't have nothing you want back there. What I worry about is if what they're saying is true, and that I can't even attest to because I don't know anybody whose birds have gotten sick, but if what they're saying is true, all these visits are placing me at risk. And I will text you those pictures of the people at my door, yeah, yeah. Sure. including the first two that were uh, both. We have a list of pictures of everyone that works for okay, us. Well, these so are we just... very large Hispanic men, um, probably mid-late 30s, limited English. What in the world? And on that tape, I have it going back and forth. And I'm like, why do they keep coming to my door? And I, it looked to me like when they bent down, they were either like left some wrong paper because they ended up leaving me three forms. Um, two of those forms were the signs and symptoms all in Spanish, which I don't read. So I was like, well, that's lovely, but okay. Maybe they're like, oh, they're close to Mead Valley, maybe Spanish. The, the, the quarantine order was dated November, tw or the kill order was dated November 12th. Visit was 